guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I feel like such a dirt because everybody was like, why don't you just use the hammer on the guys to get the bomb shards and it's incredibly fast. Look at this. I don't know why I never even tried. Sometimes I even hit the, the hammer accidentally, but apparently not on these guys. So I'm just out gathering a few magic crystals and of course bomb cores now that I know how to farm them and I we're, we're really really close to getting the last bit of the um, the quest complete for the uh, the new build so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to give a lot of swords out now I don't know how many bomb cores I have let's see really quickly yeah I have 21 so that's basically seven of those swords I think that's gonna be a pretty good deal uh, I'm gonna get a few more before I go back to town and then uh, we should finish up completing the the hair force this is greatest weakness trap and here is the so-called gauntlet of doom <laughs> uh that's cute <laughs> smack all right lots of hearts around and it looks like it's working as intended this should be pretty interesting to see how it fares actually <laughs> Warwick, oh gosh, Zuljin, seeing the blueprint was one thing, but now that the Sith snares are in place and the whole thing is complete, these defenses are downright inspiring. Next time the Hair Force comes knocking, we'll be able to give them a jolly good walloping. I'm almost eager to see them try their luck. And yet, Anessa still refuses to see the light even after witnessing everything you've done for us. She's always been a stubborn so-and-so. <laughs> Once she had her mind set on something, She'll never change it. I cannot help but worry about her, but you needn't. Please don't hold her obstinacy, obstin uh, obstinacy, <laughs> against her. Don't worry, everybody's a suspect at this point. Everybody's a suspect. All right. So Jeremiah is alive, just as I as I long suspected. The sly old fox had the whole of Moonbro convinced. He just upped and disappeared. Still, the truth is even more impressive. On Anessa's orders, he dropped his whole life without a word of farewell and joined the enemy ranks. Gadzooks, what a shining example of a soldier. But I shan't be outdone. I must pull all my soldierly skills to work, too. Speaking of which, I have a splendid idea. I would have you invent something to aid us in marshalling our troops. We must keep our forces from charging blindly into battle. Better to allow your magical traps to do their work than finish the enemy off when they're weakened. I have calculated where best to hold the line. Once we have invented some sort of signal, pray place them in two places I mark out. This should be easy. Okay, watch fires. And uh, I need to put one there and there. That's not bad at all. I also need to craft all of these swords. I am imagining that I should be able to do that pretty easy here. So let's see. We'll go to the anvil first. And yes, I'm keeping the beds in the throne room because I think it's adorable. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. We need, oh, we need to make them in this thing over here, actually. So we have, how many can we make? Oh, what am I miss? Steel broadswords. So, honestly, what I need to do is, next time we need a fight and I gather everybody up, I'll just take all of their swords and replace them with the copper ones that I originally took from them and give them steel and make the steel broadswords out of that. That'll be easy. That way I don't have to waste a whole bunch of steel. Uh, other than that, let's see if we can make those designs here. Let's see what they are. That's the sponge cake that we know how to make now. And it's these, and we need braziers, which are relatively easy to make. All we need is coal, and all we need is two, right? Yeah, perfect. There we go, that should do it. Watch fires. And we'll put them in the place that he asked us to put them, like, right here and right over here beautiful all right bruh i'm done come on out 
<laughs> I ain't gonna meet you. I did your job. Gadzook, Zuljin, these swash fires are just the ticket. Now our soldiers can muster these torches and wait for the perfect chance to strike. It's an excellent strategy, don't you think? Placing the watchfires behind the defenses? This way the enemy shall bear the full brunt of your strength sapping traps before our soldiers charge forth from their positions to finish them off. I don't really think that's too tactical, but hey. Speaking of our soldiers, Builder, it may be merely my imagination, but I can't shake the feeling that we're a couple of men short. They may simply have deserted, but with all the talk of spies hiding among us, I fear a more sinister fate may have befallen them. Actually, I think they just died <laughs> when they followed Mauroth. You sure? Perhaps I'm jumping to conclusions, but nonetheless, I suggest you keep your wits about you. I mean, I always keep my wits about me, I guess. Hmm? Uh-oh. Earthquake. Look his face. Gadzooks, what was that? Oh, it's a fight. It's a fight. All right, this is where I make all the swords. Everybody's gathered around, so what I need to do is take out my... Copper swords here. Uh, not equip. What am I doing? And pull out these. And somebody said that I can actually give people the dragon's bane and stuff. Everything but the poison needle. So I'm going to try that too. Uh, but let's see here. So let's trade all of the swords. He doesn't have a sword at all. We'll just give him a copper sword. Um, copper sword to the fierce spider. Oh, she already had one. There we go. Uh, I gotta equip the mountain cleaver. Like Mario. <laughs> Alright, everybody has fire swords that can equip them. And I figured that the only reason that these two don't take the swords is that they're, they're like magic they use magic instead because they're stretching like they're gonna help us fight uh the ones that are cowering naturally aren't gonna help us fight and i can't give many swords so i actually have an extra sword but that's no big deal we might find somebody else that needs it um and if not well it's not that big of a waste at any rate let's talk to Mauroth and get this party started seems like they're ready to strike at any moment but what about you zuljin are you all set to take these suckers on yes have like 40 medical herbs right now uh that's what i like to hear those magic traps of yours should soften them up i'll take care of the rest and by take care i mean clobber every last one of them let's go all right let's do it baby let's do it everybody's going down the hard way let's see how these things work yep yeah, oh my gosh it does hit them really hard like in the hundreds in the hundreds that's actually really cool I should have put another couple of traps all the way at the uh, at the beginning right here but between the spikes and these things it's pretty good pretty good okay next round bruh y'all supposed see Jerome I told you these fires ain't gonna do nothing look well some people are staying why are y'all all out there Look, you see, these people know, hey, waited the fires. Waited the fires. Waited the fires. Soften them up. <gasps> oh, oh, I was about to say she done turned on us, but she was confused. She was confused. <laughs> I was about to say, y'all. I thought we found our damn traitor. A lot of people have been suspecting um, that it's her, but let's use our coup de gras. Blam! You gotta use it quick, I found out. Um, because if you get hit or something like that, it usually just takes you takes the ability away from you to use. Alright, everybody back here. Everybody back here. Come on! Everybody. I wish I could ring the dad gum bell and tell everybody to come back. Come, hurry. Don't go on the front line, they big! Oh man. These dudes, bro. You know what? I feel like getting on this, uh... This here, this here ballista. I don't know if it's if it's reaching them over there, but <laughs> that's not that's not that good. Okay, now now we now we good. Now we good. Yeah, roast baby. Yeah, they're they taking a lot of damage on this stuff. They really are. 
man. I, I must be a pretty good builder after all to come up with this, y'all. Alright, why y'all why y'all in the corner and not do it anymore? I'm gonna I'm gonna do the L1. Y'all Wham! We got a lot of those attacks lately. What am I gonna do without that sweet attack, guys? I didn't even use any uh food buffs. I didn't even use any food. Yeah, you better get the hell out of here before you get you get wrecked, son. Alright. <laughs> I quite fancy a thrap. <laughs> eek, eek, eek. You fools defeated my mere, by mere humans. You're not just embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing me. Alright, no more monkeying around. If you want a job done well, you have to do it yourself. Yes. Bring it. Bat Mandrill, the Hair Force's head honcho. Alright. Come on back here, y'all. Come on back here. I am not gonna go... Mm-hmm. Maybe I am. All right, it's time to eat. Time to eat for attack power. Ready? Here we go. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, come fight me. Come fight me. There we go. Now we got him where we want him, y'all. Now we got him where we want him. He is taking a lot of damage. L1 and X. Oh, oh here we go. Hiya! 22 hunted. I'll take it. Man, that was three of those this fight. That never happens this much, y'all. Never. How could I let this happen? You're dead. You are so dead. Fire swords on everybody, y'all. Best idea ever. Thank y'all for telling me about how to farm a lot of bomb cores. Because this worked out splendidly. Okay, hold on. Let's just use a couple medical herbs right here. You're in grave trouble. Get the hell out of here, then. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I only hit one with my little maneuver. We almost got him. Everybody's down. Look how many people are on the field just dead. But there's only two of them, right? Ouch. We fine. We fine. My agility increased? Let's just finish him off, Maroth. That's the fourth one. <laughs> Dang. All right. Who we got left? Anybody? Nope. It's done. Well... Seven-tenths of our fours died, but hey, we beat him. <laughs> Maroth gets strong as Zul'jin reaches level 28. Maximum hit points increase. Beautiful. And I learned... Magic armor. Gaudy green armor made from magical metal. Defense plus 48 reduces fire and ice damage. That's pretty nice. Victory! Yeah! That was a good fight, bro. That was a really good fight. Eek, no! The Hair Force cannot be defeated by- not by the likes of you filthy, bald humans. You may have won the battle, but you won't win the war. Hargon's heroes will be victorious. Ugh. You ain't nothing, bruh. Nothing! Yeah! And we should have enough hearts to level up the base again. We did it, Zul'jin. We beat the Hair Force. Excellent work, Zul'jin. Those cis snares you made worked like a dream. Indeed, so let us continue to seek out our enemy's weakness, and we may win this war without a single sword being swung. Uh, I don't know. We've been, we've been swinging swords. Sorry to break this to you, Granddad, but these fancy traps aren't the be-all, end-all. We're the ones who actually put our necks on the line to finish the monsters off. That, That's as may be, but every little helps. The Air Force and the Scare Force are still out there and we'll need every tool at our disposal to lay them low. Before we get carried away of planning for the next battle, let's see to the damage from the last one. Fear not. Oh uh, yeah, they'll do it um, for me. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. The base is restored to its former glory. If only you could do stuff like this to creeper damage in Minecraft, huh? <laughs> 
All right, how about this, that then? Young Builder, good as new if you ask me. Hang on, something's not right. I can smell monsters about. Oregon Preserve us. Look, everyone over there. Oh, it's the, the bard. Uh-oh. Call, call, you'll never hit us from down there, pathetic humans. Damn it all, what do we do? What do we do? Wait until they come down? Or they bombing? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're casters. Aha. Bruh. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? You don't stand a chance to get in the almighty Air Force. We just gotta get... We gotta get airborne, y'all. They're here already, but our preparations were not ready for another battle. Speak for yourself. I was born ready. Come on, Zuljin. Let's get him. Some monsters appeared near the base. Man. It is happening quickly now. <laughs> we just go up and get him. Uh... Okay, are they going over the castle walls? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So let's see. It looks like... We need to get... To <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. I thought I would just be able to jump, but they go higher and higher. Yeah, this is not working. I wonder if they're gonna end up running away and it's just like to show you like hey we're doing this because <laughs> we're doing this because you are going to need to figure out traps we should be able to get three of them right here there we go those are dead There we go. All right. That, well, we we soloed five of them. Yeah, they come down eventually. Thank goodness. All right, the monsters are defeated. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I mean, they're going to say it is. Phew, it took some doing, but we got them in the end. That flying trick is nasty. What else did you expect from the Air Force? We shall have to rethink our defenses. They flew right over our sea snares, not to mention the Great Gate. It was hard enough just hitting them. We need a strategy to handle them if they attack in mass. How can you talk of defense and strategy at a time like this? What of those two poor soldiers in front of the castle? Uh-oh. What's got into her? Mauroth, the, we lost some soldiers, bro. People died. She's mourning. No response, just a corpse. Oh, Zuljin, these poor souls. I well understand now how hard this is for you, Esther. None of us wish to witness death, but we are at war. People will die. These men were prepared to pay the price for what they believed in. We all are. Huh. So what worry. They're dead. They're never coming back. I don't want to die. We have to win, no matter what. Zuljin, if it isn't too much trouble, would you be so kind as to give these men a proper burial? Like you did for those in Munahan? <laughs> Gosh, I gotta build another graveyard. We must learn from this tragedy. Let us add to our strength, so that when the Air Force returns, we're ready for them. Vengeance will be ours. Sheesh, I gotta make graves now. Um, I guess I do. Yep. Watch it, Zuljin. You probably ain't even noticed me before, but with me not introducing myself or nothing, we <laughs> never met, all right? Since we've met you, we realize that the children of Horgon are a lot of rotters. We want to help you out in whatever way we can. That rotten Air Force robbed us of two good soldiers, right? So we're thinking maybe we could make ourselves useful by learning how to fight, especially if Anessa trains us. Oh, cool. But she's so fierce looking, I can hardly muster up the courage to say hello, let alone ask her for help. You, uh, you and her are mates, yeah? Do us a favor, Zuljin, and ask her to train us up, will you? Alright. So, as far as building these things, building the graves, I guess we could just do them where we did before. There's only two of them that need to be done, so let's do... Let's do them, like, right here. 
I suppose we could just put them next to each other too, but... I'll tell you what, I'll separate them. And I'll just put the gravestones in here too. I don't think we'll, we'll need anything um, right here to do. So let's see... I'll need two gravestones and two headstones, right? Oh, two coffins and two headstones to bury everybody. All right, so we got the two coffins placed. Now all we have to do is get the bodies over here. Let's go ahead and carry one. And bury. What the heck? People are sleeping in there? What? <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god. Stole his grave to take a snooze because they ain't got enough beds. This AI, bruh. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, if it worked for them, I'm stealing a bed too. Get out of bed, girl. Let me go to sleep. You can lay on the floor. They are the dad come coffins finally. Sheesh. Barry. Nice. I was like, why is that coffin closed? I couldn't figure it out. Well, <laughs> we figured it out. Somebody snatched it to take a little nap. Freaking vampires. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game, bro. Okay, let's get some snow now. Uh, let's see, is that more? Yeah, there we go, snow. Boom. Alright, we'll do all of that. And let's see, we'll put the, the headstone here. And the headstone here. Oh. All right, that's done. Now I don't know if that does anything for me or whatever, but their graves are marked, so we should be good. Other than that, let's go see Anessa, huh? Let's go ask Anessa if she'll train some people. We'll just jump right over this toilet real quick. All right, Anessa. Hello, Zuljin. You're looking as cheery as ever. Even among the horrors of war, you managed to keep a smile on your face. Well, what is it? What? The townspeople want me to train them into soldiers? Strange that they didn't ask me themselves. Well, I would gladly instruct anyone who is willing to join the war effort, but... Get in! Thanks for asking her, Zuljan. And thanks for agreeing to train us, Anessa. You ain't gonna regret it. Don't rejoice just yet. I expect you to train as though your lives depend on it. One day, they jolly well might. Let's begin with a hundred laps around the castle grounds. What? <laughs> this may take some time, Sulgin. In the meantime, I suggest you see to the other townspeople. They may have requests of their own. Alright, yeah, they sure do. They sure do. Let's see what you got, bro. Oh. Recent events have served as a stark reminder of the merciless of the monster's forces and true horror of death. I will not give in to this darkness. I will escape this baldy fate. Warwick lost his whole family to the monsters. His parents, his brothers, his sisters, all slain mercilessly. It's little wonder that he keeps keener than any of us at the end of this war. He hates death with a passion. So, Jenny, if we hope to survive, let alone defeat them, we must add to our strength. Will you ring the builder's bell one more time? When you hear the perfect peal, it will... A, uh, a will to build awakens in all of us and brings to a flash of inspiration that was sorely used to win ourselves more powerful magical weapons. You say the bell responds to gratitude of your fellow townsfolk, yes? If you haven't the power just yet, be sure to ask anyone if they need any unanswered unre uh, request. Okay, we actually have enough, though. We do. I mean, we could do some more requests, but uh, I think I'm just going to ring the bell, honestly, and see what happens. Yeah, everybody wants... Look, you got to follow me over this toilet, old man. Here we go. There we go. Base level three. Soldiers learn a new ability, spinning slice. Nice. And look, we just got six new recruits. Beautiful. And I learned more stuff to build we got wow carpet fancy block stained glass windows oh we're gonna be building a church before long i can feel it i can feel it it's gonna be a big old 
A big old deal. Gadzook, Zuljin, what an incredible clang. Nobody rings a bell quite like you. Carpet blocks, thrones, and goddess statues, even altars? It would seem that you have rather grand ambitions for this place. And our forces continue to swell with ever more soldiers drawn here by the peal of the Builder's Bell. It's not only in numbers that our strength has increased, it would seem the Castle Guard have now mastered the spinning slice, too. Well done, young builder. My kingdom goes from strength to strength, and soon we shall be strong enough to defeat the monsters once and for all. <laughs> First things first, Zuljin and <laughs> Morio, let us build these new arrivals a hearty welcome uh, to Moonbrook Castle, their new home. Okay. All right. Come on. Whoa! Whoa! Are you the one who rang the bell? We had all heard the rumors of Moonbrook's revival, but none of us expected to see it thriving like this. When we fled, we thought our soldiers' days were over, but it was clearly wrong. I was clearly wrong. The castle really is a frightening shape. The soldiers in green taverns are trained healers, Zuljin. They can cast multi-heal to keep us all alive that much longer. That's awesome, actually. I think, uh, when, now that I think about it, I never told you what the other colored uniforms mean, did I? Allow me to explain. The soldiers in blue are strong, steadfast footmen. They can use spinning slice to take down hordes of monsters all at once. Or as in red are members of the Royal Guard, we're in charge of ensuring His Majesty's safety. Now that we cast Kabuff to bolster everyone's defenses, well now, now that we've all been introduced, I hope you don't mind if I add our strength to your own for Moonbrook. Six new soldiers move into Moonbrook Castle. That's awesome. So we're ready to definitely do some more fighting. Definitely. Alright. And there's a couple side quests to do, and also a main quest to do, but we'll probably take care of that next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lulzin signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.